Well, hey, Scorpio. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Scorpio. We're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. I am going to get your mood first. Very interesting. This turned over. I am going to get your mood. I want to use the one card method. Let me see what your mood is. Some of you guys are single, making a lot of money or focused on your money here. Or you could be thinking about someone who's single. All right, let me go ahead and shuffle. This is for Scorpio. So I see your money. You're focused on your, your job, your finances for Scorpio. Oof. All right, two of swords. Do this come out with you guys? Literally, every time I do your reading, it's some type of like stalemate or decision or something like that that needs to be made i don't know it just seems like it happens all the time let me get another card i also see a lot of sadness here with that five of cups i don't want to leave it at that two of swords because i feel like that's always your energy Ooh, a decision about lovers at the bottom of the deck i have the six of cups which talks about a soulmate or a past person Ooh, okay now, I, I know that this is, has been generally your issue recently. <laughs> I didn't expect for it to come out in this read. Um, yeah, let me see. Let's, so let's go ahead. Let's start with that two of swords because it's not just about decision and love, uh, maybe for some. Um, but this is also when it comes down to partnerships or partnering up with people. Um, this is family or any type of relationships. Maybe you guys want to move. Um, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's get the two of two of swords for Scorpio. So this is going to really take you guys to use your intuition when making decisions. So you guys have big decisions, obviously, that you're needing to make here. Um, and that high priestess is using your intuition um, with, with this. I really do feel that, you know, there is going to be action taken here with the Ace of Wands. It's going to be very exciting for you. All right, let's get this two of cups. So it looks like it's like maybe partnership with contracts or um, in, in a love relationship. Look at this. You guys are thinking about someone from your past here. I mean, really thinking about your past with the seven of pentacles. This is also, um, like I said, when it comes down to contracts, this could be someone that you know from the past past, like in your childhood. Um, this can have something to do with children. Okay, let me go ahead. Let me see if I can get one more for that two of cups. You guys know I have to always do the readings differently. I, if, I, if I don't, I'll lose it, okay? <laughs> So yeah, there is some type of movement here. So whatever decision this is here, you guys, even if you haven't made it, you've already made it, okay? Because you saw the Ace of Swords, I mean, the Ace of Wands, which is taking action. And we see the High Priestess, which talks about intuition. You may feel like, you know, if you make the wrong decision, um, there's things that you don't know. That's part of the High Priestess, which is things unknown. That's the fear of making a decision, right? But I feel like you've been through a lot here with the Nine of Wands, okay? Maybe this has been a very hard um, thing for you. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and get, get into the reading with you, Scorpio. You guys are always in really tough situations with love, okay? Let's go ahead. This is going to be for Scorpio. Scorpio. have a lot of love stuff. Wow. Okay. This is definitely decisions dealing with the love here. <laughs> Two different people. Okay. Um, oh, and there is action being taken. Oh, you guys have heavy. Oh, this is very passionate. I don't, it's like it's even radiating off the cards. Moving forward, we saw it with the chariot, right? I haven't even shuffled those cards yet, and I will. But there is some type of moving forward in a love situation. 
Um, a lot of you guys had to choose between lovers. Some of you guys may be in relationships, maybe in marriage. Um, and there's another opportunity that could be presented. I see conversation. I see a love offer here coming in. You guys may um, have been in a situation where your person was in a love situation and someone is coming towards you somebody from your past we saw the six of cups twice very passionate connection let's go ahead and, and very um it makes you feel excited with that ace of wands let's go ahead let's get some more Some of you guys have a very strong attachment or feeling for someone. World card. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, somebody is busy in this reading. Oh, wow. Okay, so somebody is thinking long and hard about what they want and they are definitely going after this is very sexual read to queen of wands with that knight of wands there could be an age difference here um like i said i do see before i even shuffle the cards remember we saw the the chariot which means there's someone coming in you could be going towards someone so, someone from your past but i have to say you guys have the two of cups the lovers and the six of cups this is a soulmate reading. So if you guys have a very strong pull towards someone, that's why. Okay? This is past life. Some of you guys have secrets or there has been secrets in a relationship. There has been wear and tear over time in a relationship. Okay? But I really do see a third party. Somebody is detaching from someone. Okay? That's what I'm saying here. So let's go ahead, let's clarify this for you, Scorpio, really quickly. Someone could feel stuck even in a connection. Two of Cups, please, for Scorpio. This was all love today. I don't see any pinnacles. <laughs> Oof. You guys are really hoping and wishing for something here with that star card. Oh, wow, heartbreak. Some of you guys have been disappointed or someone is going to go through a heartbreak or yeah, something is possibly whoever's being chosen or whatever it is, it is going to hurt. Three of Swords is a third party. I mean, you see it throughout this whole reading. Um, someone is struggling with their feelings, but there are strong feelings for someone else. Let's get the lover's card. All right, this is this is optimism. This is uh again moving forward and happiness. Happiness with the sun card. Victory. You are going to be in a very happy connection. Something that may have been delayed for a while. We even see it here with the Page of Wands, something that's putting a spark in your heart. Like I said, very passionate. I also see this is something that you guys have been really wanting and wishing for, and this is a wish fulfillment. Let's get the Page of Wands for Scorpio. Yeah, communication. Again, a victory energy. Communication with someone who you feel is very loyal. Or, I mean, it could be someone new, but I feel like this could be someone that's entering in your life that you want to be loyal to. Or they want to be loyal to you. It's that type of thing, you know. I see finances being really good. As soon as I said that, this popped out. <laughs> Huge opportunities, I'm seeing, when it comes down to finances and a new love because all of these are aces which makes me believe there may be a cycle completing with the love situation and something new starting let's get the knight of cups for scorpio yeah some of you guys are dealing with an earth sign could be a virgo could be a capricorn i just saw capricorn at the bottom of the deck 
some of you guys are dealing with fire. Someone is uh, is about to take action. We again, we have the Queen and King of Wands. This is a very strong pool. A lot of you guys are feeling this already. You've, you've probably already felt this in the past, and it's kind of like, why am I, why? And yeah, this is this is a breakthrough. This literally popped out and fell on my shirt. This is you, Scorpio. That's your card. And part of it popping out is like the full card. When it leaps, it takes a leap of faith. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So you guys have had a very strong pull towards someone. I really do feel that someone is coming towards you very soon. Okay, something is about to happen very soon here. Let's get the strength card. This is for Scorpio. Yeah, confidence to move forward. And this came out again. Somebody could live at a distance. Some of you guys may have been waiting for this person. Maybe this person was struggling to see what was real. You could have been struggling to see what was real and true. Let's get the world card here for Scorpio. Yeah, illusions are complete and done. That's so funny that I said that and I thought about that with the Two of Swords and the Illusion card came out. Yeah, there's been some type of fight inside of you. Again, we're talking about other people being involved, needing to make a decision. That is going to be over with and done. I mean, we totally see decisions are going to be made soon here, Scorpio. So you guys won't be in this position forever. I mean, I really do feel like before the end of this month or sometime in October, there is going to be a decision made. Let's get the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. This may have been happening. This this may have been a very slow, it may have been a while since you've talked to this person. Um, but I really do feel that someone is coming in here very soon. I feel like the Knight of Wands is the person's speed, but the sincerity is the Knight of Pentacles. I do feel like there could be some... Just be careful because I still feel like that because there was a third party energy here that someone still may be a little in and out. But I feel like either you or your person are they're feeling unfulfilled, maybe in one connection over the other. Let's get the hermit for Scorpio. Yeah, look at this. Somebody is about to send you a message, Scorpio. Or are you going to send someone a message? Oh, Taurus. So we have a lot of earth here. So somebody, or you guys are going to find out that there's, or you guys are going to be finding out that there's a message of pregnancy somewhere. But I also feel like um, someone thinks very highly of you. You can think very highly of someone here with the Empress. Empress. And again, we see the Empress right up under that Nine of Pentacles. So money is going to be really good. So I would say over the next six months to a year, money will start coming in. You know, Pentacles is kind of slow, but it's still a very victorious energy right above um, when we have the Ace of Swords, okay? So a lot of decisions that need to be made, um, but I do see new beginnings. Let me go ahead, let me get two cards for you, Oracle, for Scorpio. Okay, wow, <laughs> look at this card. I can't wait for you guys to see it. So look at this, choices. This has been a theme of your reading for so long. Yeah, this cycle needs to end, guys. <laughs> I don't know if this is you in this situation or if this is your person needing to make a choice or a decision, but just because we saw that tower, it's about to be made for you. Like, it's just, it is. Like, you generally, that energy cannot hang. And it really does have something to do with romance and love, okay? That's what it has something to do with. Again, here with the moon, with cycles, illusions, okay? Using your intuition with making choices. It literally said the exact same thing that was here in your reading. Whoa, a lot of stuff is about to go down with you. So take a breather, take a deep breath, okay? Um, but I really do see that there's going to be some good things here for you, Scorpio. And I love the fact that the rose was here. Because regardless, I do feel like there's going to be a very strong love entering into your life. So Scorpio, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye, guys.